Hello, and welcome to the Oxid Academy online tutorial. By watching this tutorial, you will learn how to install Oxid eShop with Composer. The installation basically consists of four steps. Step 1. Fulfillment of the system requirements. Step 2. Preparation of Composer. Then Step 3. The installation via Composer. And Step 4. Execution of the shop setup. Just open your browser and open docs.oxid-esales.com. The start page is in German, but if you click on Entwickler Dokumentation, you will find the information you need in English as well. Open the subsection Getting Started and click on Server and System Requirements. Here you will find a detailed overview of the conditions that must be met such as the MySQL version or the PHP version. If all system requirements have been met, you can continue with Step 2. Step 2 is the preparation of Composer. To do this, go to getcomposer.org. You will find all the information you need to install Composer on your server under the menu item Getting Started. Then you can continue with Step 3, the installation itself via Composer. This requires you to connect to your server. You can use an SSH client like putty.exe for this, or, as I will show you in this video, simply use the built-in Windows function via Windows PowerShell. To connect to the server, I type SSH, enter my username Stephen, type an at sign, followed by the IP, or in your case, maybe, the domain name of your server. Both username and IP can be found in the customer center of your hosting partner or can be requested from your partner. Then I confirm with the enter key and will be asked to enter my password. I confirm this as well by pressing enter and am then connected to my server. Now it's time to get down to business. First, type composer followed by the Composer command create project. Then type the parameter dash dash no dash dev. Then enter the corresponding repository oxid dash esales slash oxid eshop dash project. In a standard Apache configuration, it will be slash var slash www slash html and possibly slash myshop, or a similar directory that you have created. Finally, you pass the so-called branch. This is dev-b-6.1-pe in our case. The 6.1, of course, stands for the current version. This can change if you are watching this video at a later time. If all of this went too fast for you, don't worry. You don't have to watch the video again. You can simply refer to our documentation. Go to Install Oxid eShop Compilation. There you will find the corresponding commands for the Community, the Professional and the Enterprise Edition. Confirm the command by pressing Enter again and wait for a moment. As you can see here, the installation will start and you will be prompted to enter a username. You will receive the credentials together with your license key when ordering an Oxid eShop. After the username, enter the corresponding password. Confirm with Enter, and you can now decide whether you want to save the credentials for updates or if required for a parallel installation. You can simply confirm by pressing Enter and the installation will now proceed. Step 3 is now completed and you can open your shop for the first time. Simply open your browser and enter your domain, or in my case, I enter the IP of my server, then select the directory, my shop, in which I installed the shop, and select the source directory here. You should now be able to see the graphic shop setup. 
This looks exactly as you see in this video. The default setup is German, but you can select English by using the drop-down menu at the top. Make sure that the green check marks are ticked everywhere so that all system requirements are met. Then, in the second step of the setup, first select the main delivery country. I set it to United Kingdom, and then the language for the shop. You can then activate the checkbox, regularly check for updates. I recommend this. Afterwards, click on Start Shop Installation. You will then see the license conditions of our software, which you, of course, have to confirm before proceeding. You must then set up the database. The database server hostname and the database server port are already pre-configured. You can obtain the database name from your host or simply enter a name here. The OXID installation setup will then attempt to create a database using this name. Then enter your database username and the database password. These two pieces of information are provided by your host. Finally, in this step, you can choose whether you want to install the demo data. If you are installing an OXID eShop for the first time, I recommend that you do so, as the demo data provides a good overview and shows various settings in detail. For the next step, you have to create an account for the administrator. Enter a suitable email address and then a password. Then click on Save and Continue and wait a moment. Once the database has been successfully updated, you are transferred to the last step of the setup. The license key included in the standard package is valid for 30 days, so you can test the shop, or you can enter your purchase license key directly. Then click on Save License Key, and you have successfully installed the shop. You can click on To Shop, which brings you to the front end i.e. the shop as the customers will experience it. If you now want to configure the shop, you have to open the administration area. Enter the word admin in your address bar behind your domain and you will be taken to the administration login. Enter your previously assigned email address and password. The Oxid eShop backend, also known as the administration area, will be displayed, and you now have the opportunity to make the appropriate settings to customize the shop as you wish. This is all you need for your successful e-commerce platform. I wish you every success, and thank you at the same time for your attention. If you want to learn more about the Oxid eShop, please visit our Oxid Academy training courses. You can find them on the website of Oxid eSales AG oxid-esales.com